Soto is one of those dishes that's usually associated with chefs and restaurants and expensive menus and difficulty, but risotto is really just stirred rice. And once you understand that, it's pretty easy to stir in lots of authentic flavor and even a twist or two. Here's everything you need to craft a batch of classic risotto full of authentic Italian flavors. And that's what risotto is. It's just a creamy Italian rice dish. And the key to that creaminess, authentic ingredient number one, arborio rice. This particular type of rice is loaded with starch and it's coaxing that starch out that's the reason you have to stir risotto so much. So what if you don't stir it though? What happens if you just treat this rice variety like all the other rice varieties? Just throw it in a pot with some water and simmer it. What happens? The standard ratio for risotto is one part rice, four parts liquid. That definitely seems like a lot of water to me. That's kind of odd because normally rice is one cup rice, two cups water. This time it's one cup rice, four cups water. But that's the key to risotto because in the cooking process, all the starch in the rice is coaxed out and it thickens that extra water and you end up with a very nice creamy dish. Now, I have no idea what this one's going to look like, no stirring happening here, but I certainly know what all this is going to look like. And it starts with a flavor base, olive oil, onions, garlic. Very often in cooking, you add the onions first and then a little later, the garlic comes. And that's because garlic burns much quicker than onions. But when you're making risotto, you can add them both at the same time because you don't need to brown them. And now for the star of the show, the arborio rice, which is actually a very easy ingredient to find in your mainstream grocery store. Two cups. This is known as toasting the grains, and you're actually doing several different things. You're coating every one of those little rice grains with a thin film of oil, and eventually that will help them stay distinct within the risotto. They won't clump together. Secondly, you're heating them through. You're sort of jump-starting the cooking process. And you'll know it's time to move on when you look at the rice grains and they've changed. They've changed from opaque, from white, to translucent, to almost clear. That's what I'm seeing, it's time for some wine. A cup or so. Now at this point, keep in mind that risotto is a slow process, a patient process. So turn your heat down to low, it just needs to sit there patiently, graciously, and just absorb the starch. That's what makes risotto work. And now, the rest of the liquid, real chicken broth, simmering hot chicken broth. The fact that the chicken broth is simmering is vital because what that does is it prevents a sort of temperature swing in the pot. You want the temperature to stay consistent in the pot. You don't want it going all over the place because when it's even temperature, that helps coax out all that starch. And as soon as you see the liquid absorb, it seems to have disappeared, you move on to the next cup. One cup at a time. And then, yes, yeah, stir. And stir. And stir a little more. As you're adding the chicken stock, keep an eye on the risotto. Here's what you're going to see. At first, it's going to seem a little bit soupy. Every time you add that broth, it's going to seem soupy. But then the starch is going to kick in. It's going to grab that liquid. It's going to thicken things up. And very quickly, you'll start to see the bottom of the pot again. And when you do, you know it's time to add the next cup. And if authenticity is on the table, then creaminess is pretty close behind, which is why I'm still adding liquid here. I'm pretty sure that rice is done at this point, but here comes another full cup. Parmesan cheese, the good stuff though. Grana Padano is a good choice. A cup or so, freshly grated. A fresh herb, I'm using thyme today, but this could be oregano or basil or whatever you happen to have, and butter, which 
is traditional, but I see it as optional. It's your call or not whether you want to add some butter to this. It's pretty rich in there right now. And this is what risotto is all about. Just look at that creaminess. It's so beautiful. All that effort has definitely paid off. But what about the no effort version? Let's see what we have here. It ain't looking good. Need I say more? It's all about the effort. That's so darn good. You know what I really like about this? It's rich and luxurious and creamy, but not mushy. Every single one of those rice grains is still distinct, and that's the sign of authenticity.